So, good bit of work done. First thing on the computer this morning, school run done. Gotta head to Little and pick up some supplies, which I'm gonna show you guys this time. Um, go home, food prep, get some more work done, maybe get a little bit of rowing done, in for personal training, um, and then just lots and lots and lots of shit to do today. Let's go. Breakfast made, so it's just oats. Um, I stopped in Centre and Car to pick up some of these blueberry yogurts at Glenisk. I love them, pretty uh, pretty good for protein. Some strawberries and some dark chocolate, which was just lint 85%. This is breakfast. Um, the Centre and Car actually has a really good health food section. Strawberries I got from Wexford strawberries, which are just on the side of the road. You see them all the time. Got some veggies here, which I'm gonna prep for later. Um, I've stepped my food prep game up a lot um, I'm very good at just winging it so picking stuff up on the fly but I think to get myself to that next level of really low body fat um, I'm gonna have to prep more so that's what I'm doing just about to head back to the gym to get some personal training done head back I haven't been there yet head to the gym to get some personal training done um, just posted my last vlog online always makes me a little bit nervous I don't know why um, but I'm really happy with it um, I'm lucky that I send it to my editor slash producer slash brother um, and he just rips it to shreds and tells me what to change. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, personal training, come back, get some food, do some work on the computer and then back, get my own training in and then classes. Let's go. So, guys, here is what has happened so far today. I've had a monster. So, I went six days without caffeine, had a monster this morning. Fuck, I feel wired. Holy shit. Um, so, gonna have some good training today. Feeling absolutely buzzing. Uh, went home, got some food, but on the way into work, I picked up this, which is a chicken fillet roll with breaded chicken on the inside. Um, and something I really wanna talk about is the fact that you can still have that stuff as long as the majority of what you do is good quality foods. So when I say good quality foods, I mean like one ingredient foods. So meat, fish, chicken, turkey, eggs, veggies, fruits, uh, potatoes, nuts, seeds, all that sort of stuff. The only ingredient is what they are. Um, so the, as long as that makes up 85 to 90% of your diet, there's room for like bread and chick, bread and chicken fillet rolls and sweets and pick a mix for me, I fucking love. Um, I'm really sick of people, trainers and people, nutritionists and all these people being too extreme in one camp or the other. Um, it's paleo or die or it's uh, slimming world or, or death. There's nothing else. Like there really is, everything is individual. So I might handle bread well, other people won't. I might handle dairy well, other people won't. Um, it's trial and error. Everybody is different. There is no one size fits all. Man, I feel good after that monster. I also picked up one of these, which I just found this week. They're a nice little break from water. There's only 12 calories in them and they're sparkling. I love it. Okay, time to get to the gym. Training time, uh, nothing much happened in the last like hour or so, just working on the computer, sending out a program to a new client. Um, got a lot to get done. Still feeling the effects of that monster earlier, which is awesome. Feeling good, it's gonna be a good session. A lot to do. America, pew pew. So before I start training, I write it all up on the board, just so mentally it's easy for me, so I can just cross it off as I go. It makes me feel like I'm getting somewhere. So first up, the warm up. I did uh, just loads of variations of body weight lunges, inchworms, just lots of body weight movements and some single arm bar hangs to make sure I was nice and loose. But the gym was quite warm so it was pretty easy to get warmed up. So first up was front squats. So I did two sets of five, two sets of three and then two heavy singles. Um, I think I worked up to the final heavy single which you'll see now was either 110 or 115, I'm not sure, but you'll see it, it comes up pretty easy that face though super set of front squats with some chin-ups the same rep range two fives two threes and two ones and um, I was very conservative too conservative on my chin-ups you'll see the last one is a single with 32 kg kettlebell and it was pretty easy then I moved on to some meadows rows 
six on each side um, on the first minute and then on the second minute I did two RDLs so Romanian or sorry six RDLs and um, so and just move back and forth every minute between the two of them and um, just making sure I'm staying nice and tight on every single rep I went for 12 minutes so six rounds of each here's my RDL from the side so never trust a deadlift video unless you see it from the side so you can see that back position what are you trying to hide and it was on to some pain And I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. It was pretty bad. Came out too hot on my first row. I hit that front end like under 330, which for a thousand meters is it's a good pace. It was too good. Should have paced that more. I suffered more in the last round. I had to break up the last set of all balls, which I really didn't want to do. Shaking. Left a piece of me on the ground. <laughs> Fuck. So ever since I started these vlogs, people have uh, hit me up on email, Facebook, whatever, and said, "Oh, Maddie, I love the vlogs. Um, I'm really struggling. Um, I can't. I'm not getting results." And I'll ask them, "Oh, what are you doing? Or how's your nutrition? How's your training?" They'll tell me what they're doing, and I'll say, "Oh, why don't you try this, 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 this? Just for free. I'm not looking for money." Um, and I'll tell them what to do, and they'll say. Oh, I can't do that because I have this on this weekend or oh no I can't make that because that's when my favorite TV show is on or, I don't have time to prep food because I'm too busy but you have time to watch your favorite TV show and the truth is you don't want the results bad enough that's it it's plain and simple they're not important enough to you because it doesn't come from a place of pain so there will always be something to come up there will be a party that you just have to go to you can't miss um, There'll be a million different TV shows, new TV shows coming out all the fucking time. There'll always be something to take up your time. Work, the kids, stuff like that. And the truth is, you just have to make the time. You don't want the results enough. It's as simple as that. Um, so you either want to have a body you're happy with, be healthier, less stress, more energy, and just be a happier person. And a happier you is better for your family, your friends, for everyone. Or you want to watch six hours of TV. Um, you want to go out three nights a week. You want to stuff your face with junk food every single night of the week. And it doesn't mean you can't do that stuff. It doesn't mean you can't go out. It doesn't mean you can't have junk food. It doesn't mean you can't watch TV. It just means you need to prioritize what you want in your life. And if those things are what you want, then so be it. But don't complain that you're not getting results. Because the truth is, you need to prioritize what you want. And it's either results or it's doing all that shit all the time. But it's not both. Think about that.